summer's devastating rains may have ended, but for many pregnant women displaced by the unprecedented natural disaster, there's no end in sight to suffering. Among them is Savera Ali. Eight months pregnant, she's taking refuge in a makeshift tent far from home. She can barely feed her four children. Taking care of herself and the baby she's carrying is almost impossible. My home is destroyed. Where should I go? There is no hospital where I can deliver my baby. Tell me, what can I do? We are begging to get some food. According to a United Nations report, nearly 650,000 pregnant women live in Pakistan's flood-affected areas. The World Health Organization says around 2,000 women are giving birth in unsafe conditions every day. At this crowded medical camp in Sindh province, near one of the worst-hit areas of Pakistan, Dr. Fayaz Umrani worries that the lack of basic facilities for pregnant women could cause a crisis. I don't know what case The places that are hard to reach how will women there deliver babies? How many newborns can face complications? How many mothers suffering postpartum hemorrhaging or post-delivery problems will be able to get to a hospital? It's a horrifying picture. 20-year-old Sajda Bibi is pregnant for the first time. She traveled for an hour to get to this camp. I came with four, five other women. My relative in this village told us about the health camp, so I came here. My body hurts. My legs ache badly. I'll go if my husband is able to take me to a hospital. Otherwise, the midwife from the village will come to deliver the baby. Adding to the discomfort of pregnant women like Sabeda Khatun are skin diseases, spreading from stagnant water and unsanitary conditions. My house is flooded. My husband and children are sick and my foot is in this shape. Where can we go? We just sit at home. Doctors must exercise caution when treating such infections in pregnant women, as many common medicines are not safe for them. We can't give them just any oral medication as they are pregnant. We have seen severe infections on hands and feet, and some conditions are almost fatal, and we are referring those to specialists. Camped on roadsides, suffering from anemia and infections, and lacking proper nutrition or support. Many pregnant women across Pakistan's flood-affected areas are giving birth in miserable circumstances. The floods have damaged nearly 10% of Pakistan's health facilities, according to the World Health Organization, making it hard to provide care to pregnant women and their newborns. For Sidra Dar in Sindh, Pakistan, Sara Zaman, VOA News.